Yeah, thanks. Um, it's a huge honour. Um, you know, it's it's kind of sinking in a little bit now as, as the day goes on. But um, yeah, to put on a GB kit is something I probably never thought would happen or um, kind of dreamed of just because, you know, I, I wanted to play in World Cups and things like that. But you just don't necessarily think Olympics. But uh, yeah, no, to be here alongside Kim, obviously, it's a huge honour. We're both really excited to be here. Yeah, the season's been good um, for me on a personal level. I think it's probably been my most impactful season in terms of, you know, c contributing to the team and assists and goals and things like that. I've enjoyed my season with City. Um, it's It was a really competitive squad to be part of, so I was happy to to play in, in most of the games. But yeah, it, it's good, obviously, coming off the back of that kind of season um, into this kind of summer where it's, it's going to be intense. There's going to be... Um, you know, hopefully a lot of games to play and um, yeah, I'm just excited uh, to get started really. Yeah, I hope so. I think that's what's so unique about the Olympics. I remember watching 2012 and I remember watching Kim and, and the team do so well in London. So um, yeah, I, I think that's what's great about Team GB and the fact that there are Scots and, and Sophie Ingalls in the squad, hopefully that will unite you know, the home nations and everyone can can get behind us because um, like I say, it's it's a strong squad and and we really want to go out to Tokyo and, and do a good job and hopefully bring something back. So, um, yeah, I, I hope everyone will be behind us. You mentioned Andy Murray and describe um, any kind of quiet influence he's had on you. Yeah, Andy's been great. Um, obviously, I work with him and his agency and, um, you know, he's been a great mentor to me over the last 12 months. Um, any kind of questions or advice I kind of need from him, whether that's performance psychological whatever it might be um he's at the end of the phone and, and he's been really helpful um and so yeah i'm sure i'll be asking him a little bit about his olympic experiences going forward um but yeah no he's been great and, and really positive last one for me I mean, you were back to your real school before lockdown and um, what's it like to kind of have a reception where people sort of that uh, are following your footsteps recognize your accomplishments Sorry, say that again. What was it like having sort of kids recognizing your accomplishments, you know, that you know went to the school you went to? Yeah, no, it's it's really cool. Um, you know, I love going back to Dunfermline and um and you know, speaking to, to kids that are especially girls as well that that love football and, and want some kind of career in football, whatever that might be. But yeah, growing up, I didn't necessarily have those female role, role models. So I think it's something that as players and especially in the squad and at Man City and, and Scotland, we take seriously um, to, to hope to inspire, you know, the next generation. I know I felt inspired when I watched the 2012 Olympic Games um, and the team GB women's team was was playing. So yeah, hopefully we can do the same. Yeah, I think so. I think we've got to go for gold. Um, you know, I think we've of course, we know there's challenges ahead of us and it's going to be a tough tournament and there's loads of things that we're going to have to contest with. But like you say, the squad is talented. I think there will be expectation to do well out there uh, because we have players playing at the highest level and, and have had success, um, you know, on the biggest stages. So, um, yeah, we've got to say gold and, and see what happens. But at the same time, we know it's going to be tough and um, there's going to be some tough games out there. Yeah, I, I think um, it's definitely fair to say that, that the fact that I'm going to an Olympic Games this summer probably makes next summer, the fact I'm not going to Euros, a little bit easier. Obviously, the disappointment with Scotland was a tough one to take. Um, it did take a little bit to get get over and um, unfortunately, we, we didn't make it. But at the same time, we, we have a World Cup qualifying campaign. You know, it feels like a long way away, but it's, you know, it's in a few months. So, you know, we'll, we'll have a camp in June and our focus will turn to that. So, yeah, it was disappointing at the time, but I think in football, you've, you've got, got to move on um, quickly. And I think we, we've all done that now.